Hey friends, I'm back with another video. This one's going to be just about where to go to get some plat really fast and easy when you're level 30 to like 45-ish or even up to 50. And for this we're going to go here to the Gukta stone. And if you're wondering where that's located here on the map, maybe if I remove some of these filters it'll look a little bit less cluttered. Uh, but we are up here. We are up, up at the top. You see the green here that's where we are and we're near the river vale portal because uh, that's the river vale one and here's the gukta one okay it's on the good side and it's the one that goes to the frog lock city if you can call it a city i mean for me it just looks like a camp like a series of tents and stuff you'll see what i mean when we get there so here we are and this is what i mean by a series of tents if you look it just looks like a bunch of tents and really i'm kind of surprised because daybreak has been been doing a pretty good job of updating textures but the textures on these tents is just completely hideous and I'm frankly shocked that they haven't done anything with these yet uh, I guess they look a little better from a distance but it just looks like somebody took a close-up shot of a wool sweater and said yeah this would make a great texture for these tents and it's it's not it's it's really terrible i hate these textures but anyway we're gonna head out this way and i'll show you the map here so we are in wrath mountains and for anybody who's played this game and, and you know at all especially back in the old days you already know where i'm headed right i'm gonna go and look for the hill giants and the hill giants are like this classic thing in classic everquest in the very first iteration of everquest that have been here in wrath mountains that are excellent source of plat because they just drop they'll drop 30 40 plat at a time they also drop fine steel weapons which you can loot to sell for about five plat each and now like on live everquest they'll even drop some defiant armor and stuff like that so they're a pretty decent source for just uh killing them and getting getting some loot and if you're of the appropriate level they're gonna be some decent xp too and not not compared to like a hot zone but if if you're fighting anything that's appropriate for your level like 60 and below you usually get decent XP. It's not until you 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 hit the 70s and and beyond where killing things starts to become garbage XP, and it, and it really it really is. It's just terrible terrible experience at higher level so okay yeah these guys are a little a little bit low they're, they're light blue to me so I, I really could do this solo if i wanted to i don't even need the uh the warrior to come along but we're gonna we're gonna do it with the warrior just because i figured hey why not it'll be a little bit extra dps they'll they'll drop that much quicker and i'm just gonna see yeah okay everybody's active and there you go so let's see what oh wow we hit 47 we did get 2.5 xp so that's not terrible i'm trying to see what what coin dropped from killing this guy okay seven plat uh five gold so didn't get a whole lot he dropped two fine steel weapons though and uh what is it a steel gorget 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 i don't freaking know how you want to pronounce that stuff all right so here's another one now i guess the only thing that is going to be nice for me being a little higher level is there's a hell of a lot less risk of dying i mean i could have come here at like 35 and really done just fine again so if you if you find yourself at 35 you want to get some uh some some money you can come here and the fine steel could also be used as trade skill stuff so here we go you see 39 platinum as my split so that means my warrior also got 39 platinum so this guy basically had about 80 platinum on him that giant so i think it might be doubled right now because of the the event because usually these guys have an average of 40 plat on them and if you split that two ways that would be 20 plat for each of you if you split it three ways you know uh it'd be about 13.5 uh, or something for each of you uh, i'm not the best at math so if i'm wrong just just know that i acknowledge that i'm not the best at math uh, you know if, if there's four of you then you would split it four ways that's 10 plat each and when you're over here i as annoying as it is 
you kind of want to kill these lizard men and the beetles, like the low level crap that's running around. Because I have this feeling that they are placeholders for the giants. So on occasion, if you are if you're not killing the crap, the garbage. Now the orcs are not placeholders. You don't have to kill the orcs, but any of the lizard men need to go, and the skeletons and the cyclopses need to go. I don't know why I couldn't hit that guy. I was standing right over him and for some reason I just could not hit him. All right, this guy's got two weapons on him. So, you know, fighting these guys, especially when there's this double, double treasure, double loot event going on, you're really going to make a killing. So see, I got 33 plat there. So he had like at least 66 on him because it was split two ways. These basilisks also have to go. Unfortunately, you got to kill them also. And I don't know. I don't know why I, for some reason, can't hit the broadside of a barn right now. I just don't understand it. And you don't need to loot the basilisk tongues because they're not worth anything. I guess I'm going to get off my mount because who knows? if the mount is somehow causing an issue with me being able to hit stuff I'm gonna take a oh I could have dang it I could have just gotten the triggered the the, uh, the fabled J boots I forgot that I had that on that character but I also had potions it doesn't matter really it's like either or is just fine yeah I guess I don't know sometimes being on a mount causes problems with fighting I just don't get it for some reason I had wasn't been able to hit these guys while being on a mount you of that or it's just a bug uh just some kind of new EQ bug today I don't seem to have that problem with the warrior just with the berserker sometimes you get small amounts like eight plat with that one again there are better ways of making plat in the game but this is just one of those old school methods that could be fun you know because you just go around killing stuff and a, a blood black wand i really don't know what that's for i'm assuming it's part of a quest for a wizard because it said wizard on it i guess i gotta try to hit these guys with leg strike and stuff it's funny when uh defiant drops off of these because they're like below level 10 so you just get crude defiant on occasion with these guys but i could still sell crude defiant for like one plat at a any old crappy vendor again these aren't really good xp for me right now they're they're green and light blue so i should have come here 10 levels ago so i probably won't stay long again this is just a quick tip of the day a place you could go to make some easy plat on whatever server you're on now keep in mind if you're on a tlp server this zone might be heavily camped you know it might be full of people because in old eq this was pretty much one of the best places to go at low level 30 you know to, to 40 to farm for plat and everybody needed plat always does you know even in the modern game although a lot of people use chrono now too uh to buy sell and trade stuff so it's just it's just part of the game uh but you know you can buy your spells and stuff here i mean you know you you need money and stuff to buy spells and all that good stuff and you could farm your plat here so there this is another placeholder for hill giants is the stupid cyclopses and sadly their loot drops are crappy they don't drop anything really good i think they don't they usually only they usually drop less than 10 plat see i just got nine gold from that one i'm not even gonna bother looting the toes although cyclops toes are used to quest for like a mage's focus uh for the wind focus i think Think it is i don't know why some for some reason cyclopses are associated with wind maybe because they're gross and they pass wind a lot but one would think the same thing of the hill giants you know who knows but this is it this is the zone and this is where you go in the zone to kill the hill giants it's over here on this part of the map where the green is and if you look here there's the zone to the firat there's a zone to lake wrath and this is like it's about I think here where we zoned in for uh what was it called gukta the frog city which i believe isn't there yeah see it is there it's right there uh it's not there in initial everquest like it because it comes later when 
when the frog locks become a thing, because in the first couple of expansions of EverQuest, there were no frog locks. They were introduced in uh, leg uh, Legacy of Yakesha, Yakesha. But that's it. That's my tip of the day. You can come here. You can farm for plat off of these guys. See, this one just dropped 10 plat. And let's sell some of these uh, fine steel weapons real quick. We'll run on over to this little camp over there. It, and it's it's so convenient because, you know, you start getting encumbered. You're like, oh, I've got all these fine steel weapons. I can barely run. You come right over here, not far. There's a merchant right here. Although they might not sell to you if you're an evil race. Like, so you got to watch out. You might want to consider them first but i'll show you okay five plat for the fine steel short sword five plat for the hammer five plat for the morning star six plat for the two-hander and i think a lot of this would depend on your charisma too five plat for the long sword six for the spear five for the long sword five for the scimitar and these weapons have no real value other than selling them or you could use them for trade skills the, the toes are eight gold each so if you get a, a stack of them there i, I saw this a few and I got eight plat. Uh, so that's it. You know, we got we got a good amount of plat from just selling the weapons too. And that's usually what I do. I go to this one. But I was going to say, you can always hang on to the fine steel weapons and go and find a forge and melt them down. And they turn into high quality ore, which can be used in trade skills. I don't know if people go out and buy high quality ore. I guess I can always do uh, the barter and C slash and type in high. Uh, let me type in ore too, because otherwise it's just going to show pelts. So nobody is buying high quality ore. Oh, actually, someone is. Large brick O of refined high quality ore. That's different. That's different. That's not the same thing. So that's it, folks. That's my tip of the day. If you found this video helpful and or informative, let me know in the comments below or give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you could give it a thumbs down. If you like what I do here, you want to support me and support the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. You can also hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified of all the videos, including maybe some of the live streams. If you really like to help out the channel, consider joining the channel as a channel member. Channel members get special perks and privileges, like a link to join our private Discord server. Likewise, if you look at the links below the video, you will see a link to join the Patreon. Patreon members get similar perks and privileges, like a link to join the Discord. And everything is ad free over there. We'll take a look at that. I got some more uh, Defiant stuff dropping. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow.